first of all thanks for being here in my youtube channel so today in this video we are going to learn an overview on the topic equation so friends equation is one of the most important topic for all the recent competitive exam not only for the bank exam if you are going for any it sector interviews on campus off campus definitely you can able to see minimum of one mark in the topic equation and if you are going for IBBS PO or SBA PO, I think maximum of 5 marks, 5 marks only on the topic equation. So equation plays a major role in aptitude topic. So friends, if you need to get 5 marks in the topic equation, first of all, you should know what are all the different types of equation are there. So in lesson number 2, we have solved type number 1 quadratic equation. Then lesson number 3, again a quadratic equation, but it is type number 2. Then lesson number 4, quadratic equation based on square root. Then lesson number 5, which is simultaneous equation so there are many different types of equation so try to learn all the different types of equation and practice minimum of 25 question that is based on each lesson so friends before solving an equation first of all you should know what are all the basic thing that you need to find in an equation question so friends first of all by seeing an equation you should say what type of equation it is whether it is a simultaneous equation or whether it is an homogeneous equation or whether it is a quadratic equation by seeing an equation you should say what type of equation that is step number one step number two is then we need to find what is the value of x and y after finding the value of x and y you should know how to compare the value of x and y which is most important after comparing x and y and we need to say the final answer that is relationship between x and y whether x is greater than or x is less than so friends that totally there are four steps the second step that is we need to find what is the value of x and y that is different case right quadratic equation we need to solve the equation by one method if it is a simultaneous equation finding an x and y value will be different so after finding x and y value you should know how to compare it and how you need to say the final answer and initially by seeing an equation you should say whether it is a quadratic or linear or homogeneous there are different types of equation let me concentrate on what are all the different types of equation are there so after seeing the different type of equation then i can teach you how to compare x and y values and how to say the final answer so let me move on to point number one let me move on to the different type of equation question so friends question number one x square plus 11x plus 28 is equal to 0 then y square plus 7y plus 10 is equal to 0 so by seeing this equation first of all you need to say whether it is a linear or simultaneous equation or quadratic equation you need to guess what type of equation it is that is important because each and every equation question should be solved by different methods so friends listen carefully if an equation contains x square x under constant if an equation contains x square x under constant so definitely the equation will be a quadratic equation so friends x square x under constant so it's a quadratic equation y square y under constant again it's a quadratic equation so question number one both the equation is a quadratic equation so friends we have solved eight different question on lesson number two only based on question number one so friends question number two listen carefully again question number two x square x under constant similarly y square y under constant so question number two is also a quadratic equation but it is type number two and the first question is type number one why because in first question before x square there is no constant similarly before y square there is no constant which i used to call it as type number one quadratic equation which we saw in lesson number two so lesson number three we are going to solve eight different question on type number two quadratic equation why we are calling this equation as type number two because before x square we have some constant but in question number one before x square there is no constant similarly before y square there is no constant but question number two before y square we have some constant both are quadratic equation but there is difference between type number one and type number two so friends question number three listen carefully question number three is also a quadratic equation because x square x under constant quadratic equation y square y under constant again it's a quadratic equation but the difference between one and two when compared to three is here the coefficient of x in, in terms of root of something right because here it is 13 11 9 like that but in this type number three quadratic equation where we can see a quadratic equation that is based on root so in lesson number four we are going to solve a question that is based on quadratic equation root values so friends next is this is one of the exceptional case quadratic equation because usually a quadratic equation will be in the form of x square x under constant we used to call it as a quadratic but this is one of the exceptional question if you find a question like this you need to convert this question into a proper quadratic equation then we need to solve this so don't forget to watch lesson number four 
it is one of the most important question that we seen in some competitive exams right so we need to convert this question into a proper quadratic equation then we need to solve it right so next is fifth question 2x plus 5y is equal to 6 5x plus 11y is equal to 9 so friends question number 5 is a simultaneous equation the meaning of simultaneous equation is in a single expression where we can find both x and y term so by using that is by solving both the equation we need to find what is the value of x and also what is the value of y but in the previous case by using equation number 1 we need to find what is the value of x by using equation number 2 we need to find what is the value of y but in question number 5 by using simultaneously both the equation Equation, we need to solve what is the value of x and also what is the value of y so we used to call this equation as simultaneous equation so lesson number five we have solved five different questions on this topic so friends if the equation starts with x cube if it is x square it's a quadratic equation if if equation starts with x cube there are two methods to solve one is a synthetic division method and the second is a long division method so friends listen carefully there are two methods to solve this question either you can go with synthetic division method synthetic division method is one of the easiest method right or otherwise you can go for the long division method but both are important so after solving it we need to find what is the value of x and y so friends next is 7 9 divided by root x 10 divided by root x is equal to root x so this is one of the different equations so not a quadratic equation not a simultaneous equation and uh, not we should not solve this equation by a synthetic division method it's a simple equation i think everyone knows this method right a power m into a power n certs and indices so this type of equation will comes under certs and indices right and this will be a normal equation that is equation based on square root and cube root that is x is equal to root of 144 then x is equal to 12 right so friends these are many different type of equation but when you are going for competitive exam these are the these question will play an important role in the topic equation so quadratic equation is most important all the different type is important and one exceptional case in lesson number four is important then you should know how to solve simultaneous equation equation that comes under certs and indices then square root and cube root this is not important important but learn because learn this equation also why because in bank of baroda 2016 they have asked three different question only on this uh, pattern that is based on x cube so friends let me move on to the second note how to compare the value of x and y let me move on to note number two that is how to compare the value of x and y so think that they have given a quadratic equation and we have solved the quadratic equation and we finally found the value of x and also y. So x value will be 4 comma 5 and y value will be 5 comma 9. So how you need to compare the value of x and y. So friends listen carefully if we are getting two value in x just consider as x1 is equal to 4 then x2 is equal to 5 right and similarly y we have two values so y1 is equal to 5 then y2 is equal to 9 so after writing this the meaning of comparing x and y is most important the meaning is we should compare all the x value with the y value that is the concept friends listen carefully we need to compare all the x value with the y value right so listen here i am just going to fix x1 as constant right so x1 x1 then x2 x2 right so friends x1 x1 x2 x2 then y1 y2 y1 y2 usually i used to compare like this why because we are comparing x1 with y1 we are comparing x1 with y2 similarly x2 y1 x2 y2 so finally we have compared all the x value with the y value that is the logic behind comparing right so if we need to compare listen here x1 will be 4 right x1 will be 4 x2 will be 5 and 5 y1 y2 y1 y2 y1 will be 5 y2 will be 9 y1 will be 5 y2 will be 9 now we need to compare this 4 and 5 5 is greater than 4 and 9 9 is greater than 5 is equal to 9 is greater than like that you need to compare it right but the concept is important the comparison the meaning of comparison is every x value should be compared to the y value right so friends listen here this is another case think that x is equal to 5 we got only one value x is equal to 5 and the y value will be 9 comma 5 so how to compare this so friends if x is equal to 5 assume that x1 is equal to 5 then y1 is equal to 9 then y2 is equal to 5 so the concept is we need to compare the x value with both the y values right so x1 will be 5 y1 will be 9 x1 will be 5 y2 will be 5 so finally while comparing this will be greater than this will be equal to so i am just comparing this x value with both the y values right so friends in case 
listen carefully if x is equal to 4 only one value y is equal to 9 then we can directly compare the value right because x is equal to 4 y is equal to 9 then we can say that x less than y because x 4 y and 9 so we can definitely say that y is greater than x so friends this is the concept of comparing there are different ways to compare a values right students used to fix y1 as constant y2 as constant that is your wish if you practice minimum of 50 question then you won't follow this by directly seeing you will compare and say the answer but if you are a beginner so try to learn this method keeping x1 as constant compare with y1 and y2 then keep x2 as constant then compare with y1 and y2 the meaning is you need to compare all the x value with the y value so friends the next important concept is assume that this is x1 right x1 is equal to 9 by 7 and y1 is equal to 3 by 7 if they ask to compare whether x is greater than y or less than y what most of the students used to do is they used to divide like this 9 divided by 7 3 divided by 7 most of the students follow this method kindly don't do that if you find a value in a fraction 9 by 7 this is x value right so 3 by 7 will be y value so friends listen carefully just cross multiply it 9 7s are 63 7 3 is at 21 63 is greater than so finally we can say that the answer will be x greater than y so friends listen here if the numbers are an integer like 1 2 36 40 we can easily compare and say what is the answer but if the numbers are in fraction kindly don't divide the value just cross multiply it assume that 7 divided by 11 and uh, 9 divided by 11 right if a number is like this if they ask this is value of x and this is the value of y whether x is greater than y or less than y or equal to y if we need to compare this value just cross multiply it 7 into 11 will be 77 11 into 9 will be 99 99 is greater than so finally we can say that x less than y right if a number is 7 by 11 and here it is 2 right if they ask whether it is greater than or less than just cross multiply 11 into 2 will be 22 and here the numerator is 7 by comparing it we can easily say 22 is greater than that is x less than y so friends always remember that if the values are in fraction just cross multiply and compare if the values are in integer that is 9 7 we can directly say 9 is greater than finding an answer is so simple just follow these techniques so that you can able to crack this equation question within 5 to 10 seconds it's so easy so friends finally the third step is we need to say the final answer so friends first of all we found the value of x and y and after that we have compared the value then now we need to say whether x is greater than y or less than y or greater than or equal to y definitely the answer will fall under any one of this category right so less than greater than or greater than or equal to less than or equal to or cannot be determined so friends assume that these are the values are x value right and this value will be y value now we need to compare this and we need to say what is the relationship of x and y so friends here it is 6 and here it is 4 6 is greater than right 6 and 3 again 6 is greater than 5 and 4 5 is greater than 5 and 3 5 is greater than so friends by comparing all the x value with y value in case number 1 x is greater than y case number 2 again greater than case number 3 again greater than case number 4 again greater than so final answer must be x greater than y so for this case the answer is x greater than y assume that if all the values are less than while comparing if all are less than then we need to say the answer as x less than y let me move on to case number two so friends minus seven and seven so seven will be greater than because positive and negative positive will be greater than minus seven nine we can say that nine will be greater than six and seven again seven is greater than six and nine again nine is greater than so for this case we would say the answer is x less than y so while comparing it the final answer that we got is x less than y assume that if it is nine here for an example i am saying if it is 9 here then we used to say the final case will be 9 equal to 9 so friends in this case x less than y x less than y x less than y in the last case x equal to y so the final answer should be x less than or equal to y so once can you able to understand this right there are three less than and one equal to so final answer should be x less than or equal to y if there are two less than and one equal to again the answer must be x less than or equal to y if there are two greater than assume that greater than greater than and equal to equal to the final answer must be x greater than or equal to y if there is one greater than 
and equal to equal to equal to while comparing again x greater than or equal to y if all the values are equal to then we need to say the answer is x equal to y so that is the logic of x greater than or equal to y and x less than or equal to y and this logic will be x greater than y and x less than y the final concept is important relationship cannot be established so friends while comparing if you find one greater than and one less than definitely you can say the answer is relation between x and y cannot be established listen here 7 minus minus 3 minus 3 is greater than 7 minus 5 minus 5 is greater than minus 4 minus 3 minus 3 is greater than but in the last case minus 4 minus 5 minus 4 is greater than while comparing if you find one less than and one greater than you can directly say the relationship between x and y cannot be established we can't be able to say what is the relation so friends listen carefully if all are less than less than or equal to if all are greater than greater than or equal to greater equal greater than or equal to less than equal Equal, less than or equal to but if you find one less than and one greater than the answer must be the fifth option that is x and y relationship cannot be established so friends these are the three important notes you should know before solving an equation topic so thank you so much for watching this video kindly go to my youtube channel check the playlist where you can find all the different lesson in the topic equation so don't forget to learn all the different type of equation so after watching every lesson try to practice minimum of 20 to 25 question so friends all the videos are available in my youtube channel is completely for free so share this video to your friends so your friends can also learn this thank you so much for watching this video bye